I, I am that person. Yeah, uh, true. And I think from the demonstration, Boz is that guy. <laughs> because like you said, the only person who gave him a, a run for their money was Ranger. And that might be because of the famili famili familiarity for both being Russia. Uh, and Mr. Peck, like you said, the loser's run was, uh, it was dicey at points, but the the will was there. And right now, Peacock doing a lot of damage here in the parasol. So here's the thing. When Mr. Peck loses a game or a set, the next time round, he becomes a little bit more aggressive. It's not that he throws zoning out of the window. He just tries to be a little bit more aggressive. And that's a 50-50, in my opinion, for someone of his caliber and his play style, because if you look now, Peacock's already in a perilous situation. Good block on the reset there from the back hard kick. Yeah, and I love the way uh, the way Boz is controlling the air, right? Every time there's a gap, they're like, okay, I'm going to jump and put out a button just to keep them in the corner. Not necessarily to hit them, uh, but yeah, it's just real good corner oh, control. Oh, hold on. Magnetic trap. That was a hard read. That was actually a hard read. Mm -hmm. Oh, man. And that worked out. Down. That definitely worked out there. It doesn't block the overhead. That's going to be a dead parasol. Mirror, mirror Just on the like wall. That. <laughs> Just like that, Jam. It's like you said, hard read. What happened? You lose the character because I, I'm I'm willing to make these guesses. I'm willing to put my heart behind my choices. Oh, block. All right, Catheads, they're going to be there for literally two seconds. You see that? They disappeared now. See? Wow. Nowhere near as long different. as it used to. Yo, with the timeline we lived in. <laughs> oh, boy. They were, yeah. there for, they were there for centuries, mate. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Yeah, definitely. But here we go. The offense. Oh, Mr. Is that Peck has that's DOS. That's DOS. That's DOS. That's DOS. That's DOS. Yes. Oh, Mr. Peck looking to Ooh. turn this around. He really wants to start for the people in the grand finals Yo. there. Put the spice on it. And the right. immediate throw break. Oh, that oh and you got clipped by the robo assist. I don't know why it came out from behind. Right, but... yeah, neither do I. I have no yep. idea where that came from. But assist calls come from anywhere and everywhere when they feel like it on their time schedule. Is that dead? I think that just about live. No, it's still on three hits. Catastrophe Cannon, level one, doing the business once again. One game down, five to go. It sounds like a lot, but when the pressure's on like that, when you're in grand finals of EVO, that five can go away. Like that. Get a snap. Yep. And especially in this game. Espe it because it looked like Boars had the advantage. And like you said, yeah, oh, he made a read. He did. And the egg, uh, magnetic grab, it hit, one reset, downhill slope. That's what happens in this game, man. Things come crashing down at the speed of light. Mr. Boars has still a little bit of time, because remember, the bracket has to be reset, but you can use it one or two of these games to gather the intel required. But again, I think there's just a deeper hunger. Mr. Peck's a little bit more ravenous, because again, I think he wants those back-to-back -back, uh, EVO wins, EVO online wins that he's had. Uh, for Skullgirls, because he won the warm-up one, like I said before, and I think mm -hmm. he wants this one as well. Yeah, I mean, there's a lot of people watching, seeing, will keep away prevail. Well, and I know there's probably a lot of people that don't like that type of gameplay, but I think I think Pex's spin on it is very good, because we've seen him go in and mix people up, right? Oh, yeah, for sure. It's not solely one game plan. Here we go. We're, he's getting involved. He's getting, you know, he's getting involved with the, uh, with the cheek butts. From the elephant but now backs away <laughs> pain wheels stalking in the air Ooh, all right there, there. and to confirm going to go to the viewer air grab going to get rid of peacock once again and it's going to be reliant on this duo and he gets a jumping medium punch combo starter is he going to finish the combo he's got three bars goes for a reset oh, it should be a guaranteed no. kill no meter look how quick mr pex brings it he goes down the character and he's like, okay, I'll, I'll, you want me to go offensive? Okay, I can do that too. I know I'll put Pico on point and you're used to me zoning, but I can do the uh, the aggressive style as well. Hey, listen, it's the layers behind this man's gameplay and philosophy of a game he thoroughly enjoys. And he's going to napalm pillar and he's going to get countered by another napalm pillar, but somebody got hit. I don't know who, but a level three catastrophe everyone, cannon is on everyone hit. Everyone got hit. Damn, everyone got hit. Anyone can catch it. Everyone literally got pies thrown in their face at the party. And <laughs> And look at this, Mr. Peck's got the life lead and he's like, okay, I'm gonna hold on to this real tightly, you know what I mean? <gasps> Napalm Pillar dropped and the armor, no, he can still do it. Yeah, he can still do it. Can he get rid of the character? Oh, <laughs> taking the damn shot with the announcer still laughing at your ass. And Mr. Peck, 2-0 up again. Are we Are we gonna see a, a swift bracket reset here, C4? I don't think so. I gotta do my job. It. Part of, listen, they'll never tell you. Production teams will never tell you this. Part of the job that they put in the contract is you gotta do the commentators, guys. You have to. You can, right. you can play devil's advocate 
or you you can do you can play do the commentators curse. They never tell you. It's part of the job. I'm saying. I gotta feed the people at home. They're enjoying the action here. It's too well, old to Mr. Peck right now. Let's see. One game away from a potential reset here. Mr. Peck going to the tried and tested. Oh, but okay, we're introducing the Ingrids to try and counter the zone in here, but I don't it's, know if it's that's going to deter him yeah, too much. Yeah, it, it's, it's limited, and it's like, if you're going to put out the Egret shields, you might as well throw another assist there as well, but he wasn't close enough to even use that. And again, outside of the, uh, you know, the aggressive adjustments, I think Mr. Peck's just been overall more brazen in general, and he's probably been... He probably watched back his set against uh, Mr. Boars at some point between yesterday and today to look at something right. at least. Yeah, I can definitely see that as being an option. And yeah, this has been clinical. And did you see the, the change, right? The the customization on the approach. Ooh. Mr. Peck went from, oh, you're calling Ingrid's, I'll just go in. And then you stop calling Ingrid's to cancel, ca uh, to counter my zoning, and I'll go back to zoning. But Pain Will, Bang. the great equalizer. Bang. Yo, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Sorry. It's, <laughs> you do that. it's the move, man. I swear, it's a reversal. You've got it to respect it sometimes. And it did get turned down, I think it did as well. Hold on, are you dead? Oh, did it? Yeah, it got turned down. Uh, Peacock did receive a lot of nerfs. You're dead. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah when Catastrophe can get DHC'd into, they're nine times out of ten gonna lose that character. Hype dream here with double, but... Oh, he almost Ooh. had the opportunity. Ah, oh. There we go. Second time does work, and Mr. Peck choosing to go for a little bit of space. Jumps in, Stabbish block, may pump, pillar, and I think the, the Theonite beam actually stopped Mr. Balls from even touching Parasol's and assist. Beast of Gehenna gets beaten out. Yeah. Yeah. Get this combo on the heavy. Extensions, get a little bit extra damage with the Parasol assist. And then he's going to go into level three. Gamma Catastrophe Cannon takes it there. Lord Jesus. We're here, ladies and gentlemen, if you've just tuned in. A bracket. I'm for the scaling again. I can't a, find it. While he's looking for something that he's left on his shelf, a bracket reset in the grand finals has happened. Mr. Peck resets it against Mr. Boars, and now it is a race to three. Only one time, though. Dude, that was a swift reset. I mean, sometimes that leaves me speechless, and I'm a talkative dude. <laughs> yeah, I mean, with that performance, you wouldn't have thought that Mr. Boars was the person who put I, Mr. Right. Peck into losers. You know what I mean? Yeah. Like, it looks like Mr. Pex has a very, like, concrete understanding of what they need to do in the match. Like, it was just clinical. I think all three matches are pretty, like... Straightforward, okay. efficient. Yeah. You know, Even when Mr. Peck lost Peacock, it was like, oh, okay, I can I can just do this with Robo and uh, Napalm. It's fine. Like, he never really looked shook. Well, well look, remember when he spoke to... Oh, he done a, a video with someone ages ago. He used to tell them that he used to practice in the corner when he was in a bad spot with Peacock to yeah. get out. I guarantee yeah. you he just practices with Parasol and Robo as a duo, mm. just in case. Again, he, this is what it's all about being a fighting game player. You've got to theorize or theory fight all these scenarios, take it to the lab, practice a couple of things, and then try and uh, implement those strategies and be prepared a little less scared uh, in actual matches again. And I don't know how often in the past uh, Mr. Boars has traveled internationally. I've, we've seen Mr. Peck attend Combo mm -hmm. Breaker and other international tournaments. So that tournament experience is still there, right? But I, I, I don't know if Mr. Boars is feeling the pressure because if I got free owed like that when I was in the winner's side, like, dude. Yeah, uh, it, it's hard. I don't think it's like a... I feel Boars just didn't get a chance to establish their game plan. And obviously that's, we've been talking about it. This is what Mr. Peck does. Mm. He is like, he's like a blue spell for magic. He cancels things out. Wow. He's, a, he's a denier. He stops your game plan from being an option in the first place, right? Like he's never had to block a uh, double assist. He's just never there. And I think that's kind of key to how Boz gets the, the game going on their side. But it's just never been an option for them to like throw Ooh. that out and get some blocks done. But this is a good start. Yeah, you can get the pick up from the in, um, the brigade, the mortar brigade. Oh damn, that was uh, that was a bad assist call there from Mr. Peck, but luckily, uh, Parasite only took a jump in hard punch there. I mean, even as uh, C4 was alluding to, uh, Mr. Peck hasn't been able to make Mr. Boar's game plan null and void, but hopefully he's able to turn that around. But it's not looking good once again. Oh boy. Oh dear. No scaling beam. Lovely, lovely. Guaranteed death. Might as well be. Beam into beam. Nice TK. And you thought Proton Ooh. Cannon was a problem. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, this is the, this oh, is the oh, true wow. enemy. Please don't do that again. <laughs> this is an ICFC, bro. 
Nah, this is this is Skullgirls Grand Finals. Don't talk to me why can't can't do. I'm not esports <laughs> like you, but I'm gonna try. Oh man, he's gonna get me. He's gonna give me my Fear Knight reps in the corner. Optimal stuff here from Mr. Peck. And the no. reset. Is he gonna put him back Classy. in the corner? No, he's just gonna magic magnetic trap him. He's out. Yeah, Death he's out. Tool. He's out. He's out. Yeah, nice. Ooh. Yeah, and the five L just Yo. to get out. He maxed. I like it. Mm -hmm. Did respect that. I like it. Snap. Oh, Unrecoverable health in there. Block stun. Look at that. This is looking fantastic here for Mr. Peck. Yo. Yeah, Painwell just got literally drawn out with the snapback. Get rid of that character, leaving double on their own. Napalm whiffs, but Mr. Peck has got space to move back. Put the beams on screen. Clutter the plasma, making it half a double to get in. And I think one reset will one do. More reset. Yeah, he needs a yeah. reset and then he'll go into level one. Unless he's going to do the proper reps. Goes low overhead and that should be magnetic track for the fourth game. Oh my word. C4. I'll tell you this. Don't, I, I, don't, I don't know if you've noticed. I don't want to tell the chat this either. We'll just keep it between us. He's won four games on the fly. You know what that is? That's quick maths. I like it. I like it. You're, you're, you're paying attention. Uh, yeah. two, two plus two is four? Two plus two is four. I'm not going to do minus, not I'm not, I'm not, I'm not gonna do the minus three. Uh, minus one is three part because we've gone past that point. We've done. We've gone past that point. But yeah. Man's well. not hot. Mr. Pex is hot. He's on fire. Oh, I got you. 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 <laughs> this is brilliant. Four games on the bounce. I don't know if he can do this. And remember, the only other person to do this in Mr. Balls this weekend was his fellow countryman. Mr. Peck said, hold my beer. Oh, wait. Who said hold my beer? I lied to you all. Oh, my God. <laughs> Yeah, boss, boss said, hold my beer. Nah, I got you. He I'm heard me. The nah, he heard me. Bro, he took out the problem. That's Robo gone. Yeah, you know what? A... So, surprisingly, it, it actually has been Robo. It's been the problem this entire grand mm -hmm. final. Mm -hmm. Oh, smoked. Okay, Mr. Peck, settle down, settle down. I... Overhead dead. Yeah, yeah, he's yeah. done. Back down to his staple character. Peacock, good block. I'm not sure if those uh, Napalm uh, shots were going to be cross up, but it's irrelevant right now. Here comes Lenny. Yeah, nice reversal in between the gap between Barton into a uh, teardrop. Running in so we can get a, what we got this time, a piano, jump throw, George, hard guess. George, my boy, overhead. I told you, it's George that's the problem. George, <laughs> George, <laughs> what are you doing, mate? Oh, man. Get in there. And he's All dead. Right. I'll get agony. I think the biggest problem isn't that it's two versus one, it's that Mr. Peck has got no bar. No, he's got, he's got, well, he's got a full health bar, but no meter. Yeah. I, I still think yeah, he can meter, do something. Sorry. I still think he can do something. I, I, I've got, you know, I've got to support the uh, the UK boys, uh, oh. mostly professionally. He went low. Oh. Yeah, see, my boss has got four and a half bars. Watch out for I... it. Okay, he jumped out. That's fine. Oh. I thought Mr. Peck was going to do an air throw there, but he gets a grounded throw instead. Going to drop out George, and he's going to be a teacup or a TV. No, he's going to drop the elephant. Talk about the elephant in the room. We have to. If oh. The elephant is if he makes his combat. That is five straight. Air oh. throw. That's it. Whoa, That's a wrap. Keep it simple. It. Please. Just keep it mad simple. Yeah. Please. Super bar. Yeah. You were overdrive. Going to close it out there from the air grab. And I'm telling you, she's got one of the rudest air throws in the game. That animation is deadly. Like, she yeah. literally just grips you and just goes like that. Like, <clears throat> you know what it is? So, Mr. Bors puts a game on the board after losing four on the trot. Is this signs of the fighting game adaptation, I wonder? He's clawing it back, Jamis. He's clawing it back. I mean, he's lost his cushion, which was being in winner side. The reset is like, oh, damn. Okay. Okay. This isn't the same Mr. Peck I met in pools. Listen. This is a different one. He, like we said, he's been battle hardened from going from losers and that strong run that he performed. Uh, These yeah. are chief executive officer decisions being made. This is going to be a Vegas double snap. Are we close enough? We are. No, you should have crouched like kick. Oh, I'm pretty sure crouching like it would have reached. I mean, maybe it would have, but I mean, this situation isn't too bad. Four boards, got the corner position, went for a reset. Mr. Pex clutches out. Jumps out, I'm telling you, her air normal, so she can pilot and delay her landing. Nuts. Yeah, yeah, that nice. is. Oh, I like it. Stayed on the ground, so didn't have to interact with that potential air throw coming out from Bors. Mr. Peck. That, that bike was going for a stroll. <laughs> yeah, that man. bike was going for a stroll. And you know what? Mr. Peck has to be careful about that because Mr. Peck's reads on when to do armor moves have been really good. But like we've said before, some of those, <sighs> he needs to stop doing that. That might, that needs to be addressed. Oh, someone needs to talk about that. Nah, Mr. Peck. You cannot dodge what you cannot see. A wise well, man once said. Well, well. 
That is, that is very true. And this is a game full of it. I can tell you that much. <laughs> well, there you go. <laughs> Air throw. Oh, where you going? Oh, he's got oh, two characters. Kenny's. Uh, no, that reset. That that reset. I don't know if that was intentional, but he almost got it. Napalm pillar. Oh, it nearly happened day. again. Oh my gosh, cheeks of the elephant. Dashes. We're dropping stuff. Are we going to set up shop? Are we going to put some stuff on screen? Okay, Argus Agony is there. Pain Will is losing that much health. Here come the Mortar Brigade, and he's going to set up a couple of Napalm tears, and that's going to be blocked. But he's going to cancel it into the Catalyte Lives. I like it. So it's, a, it's expensive, right? What they did there, but it got them in. But like we said before, you know what? Mr. Pex is not scared to, you know, get involved. Oh, he'll do it. Another team. reset he'll too tall. I think that's too tall. Yeah, yeah possibly. All oh, the overhead from max distance. Hard tag into Peacock. Three characters. All the zoning potential. And this is probably a done deal. Contract is signed. Yeah, there you go. Oh boy. 2-1 here to Mr. Peck. He reset the bracket in Grand Finals 3-0. And now he's in a very conducive position here. What? Checking the sweat. Uh, Mr. Peck is getting mad sweaty, listen, man. Mad left, sweaty. left pit, right pit, all of it. <laughs> right? I want it all. Right? But... Has Mr. Boars got anything left in the tank, mental stamina-wise, C4? I, I, I want to say, yeah, Even he's definitely speech, fighting. I, no, he... <laughs> <laughs> Obviously, picks from the UK, so I want him to win, but, pe like, Boars is showing the dominance in the tournament. Like you said, just hardly anyone beat him, bar his boys, bar Ranger. But now, this is just a different Mr. Peck. We've got a win from Boz, so it's doable. And I think it, this is the key point in the matches. This is the key point, because when Boz gets Peck in the corner, oh, it's damn. almost a done deal. He needs to keep this, though. He did the hard part. He got the low, but he didn't believe in the conversion. I think he wanted uh, him to block the low and get hit by the re uh, overhead reset there, but Peck has lost a substantial amount of health here on uh, Peacock. Safety HC with the hatred install. Yeah, oh, grab. and he gets the full back into the corner as well. Oh, he's looking at the DHC. Uh, oh, no, okay. Is he gonna hard tag maybe? Intentions. No, he's gonna be confident and go for a couple of resets, build the two bars, and he might only need the one for Argus Agony, and then he might hard tag out. Yeah, yeah. look at that. That, no. that low, that low led to a lot. Now, Mr. Peck, the counter advantage, the positioning, both assists on deck. It's going to be very hard for Boz to make this comeback. Oh, as he say, it's going to be hard for him to make that comeback. Well, he's got rid of the staple character once again, but he's got to deal with the duo incoming air throw from your boy Peck. Napalm pillar. Are we going to get side swap maybe? There it is. Good block. Mm -hmm. And again, the reads from Mr. Peck when he comes to air throws, whether it be a tech or offensively, just knowing, I know you want to up back. I got you. Ooh. And that's going to be a dead double. Yeah. Peace but, out, brown uh, red. I think he doesn't have the DHC here. Catastrophe Cannon will do it. And it's down to Parasol on tournament point here for Mr. Peck. I don't know if he's got it in the locker here, boys, but please show me something. Make me believe. Ethro. Oh, what a reset. That was gross. Is one more on deck? Do you know oh, what? No, if I was you, I'd go out with an Inferno Brigade, mate. I'd do a level three if I got the opportunity. He might be sniping for Happy Birthday. Wow. <laughs> Oh, but no cancel though, Jammers. That oh, could have been a very... Uh, yeah, like... I, listen, I think he's got the stream on you though. Has he got oh, it? That's it. That's going to be level yeah, one catastrophe cannon cancelled into the silent scope for no reason. But that's going to be it. Ladies and gentlemen, Mr. Peck is your EVO Online 2021 for the European region Skull Girls champion here. What a top eight it's been. And you know what? I enjoyed it from start to finish there. C4... Talk to me, man. How did you enjoy the games today? Man, I, I thought it was a very good representation. Thinking of if it was my first time seeing Skullgirls, we saw a little bit of everything. Not every character, but we saw so many different ways to play the game, play styles, uh, strategies, full processes, the micro decisions, like I was saying earlier. Everything matters. Just being involved in this game and, and knowing some of the players and some of the characters from what they used to be to what they are now, 
it's just a wild ride. It's just so many interesting things that I, I love about fighting games that you can find in Skullgirls. Sick game. Yeah, for sure. And even then, we saw a lot of characters that I didn't see in the last two EVO online tournaments for North America and Asia. Barely saw any Valentines. I didn't see them in the Asian one. Didn't really see any Abea Wolf or Eliza. And then we got a healthy amount of them mm -hmm. here today. Pain was still rocking strong. Robo still uh, representing pretty well. You know, a lot of characters there. But I've got to say, Shouts to everyone that participated in the tournament uh, for Skullgirls EU. And obviously, shouts to all the players that were in the top eight today. And once again, we're going to show you guys the final bracket. And this is how it panned out here. Mr. Peck started from the loser's bracket.